Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can host your static website on GitHub. So for that, what you need is you need to have a valid GitHub account. And the second thing is you need to have the code for your static website. So you can see here in this folder, I have this uh, HTML code and you need to make sure that in the root directory of your code, you have this index.html. So this is important. You need to have this index.html in your root directory. So let's say I'm going to just uh, see this uh, index.html in a browser and you can see it looks like this. So this website I want to host on GitHub. Let's see how we can do it. So first of all, you need to go to GitHub and then sign in with your GitHub credentials. And once you are logged into your GitHub account, you need to create a new repository here. So you can create a new repository by clicking this start a project button, or you can click this green button here, which says new repository. So I'm going to click on this new uh, repository button. Now in here, you need to give the repository name. So because my website name will be Linux for life, so that's why I'm giving the name here Linux for life, okay? So in my case, the repository name is Linux for life. You can give any repository name, whatever you like. Description is optional, so you can leave it as it is and make sure that public is selected here and you just need to click on create repository. So now your repository is created and you will see here three ways of uploading your HTML code on this repository. Now, if you are familiar with Git, then you can follow these instruction or these instruction in order to upload your code on your repository. And I have already made a video on how to use Git and GitHub on your Windows operating system. And I will put the link in the description if you want to see how to use Git in order to upload your files onto GitHub. So what we are going to do is we are going to follow all these commands and push our code onto GitHub. So first of all, we will uh, use this git init command. Make sure that you have git installed on your system on which you are working and go to the directory where all of your HTML files are there, right? And then on Windows operating system, you can just right click and then click on uh, git bash here. So just click on git bash here which is going to open the command line. And then you just need to give uh, this command, git init, and then press enter, which is going to initialize the git on this repository. And then I'm going to run a git status command to see the status. And you can see all the files and folders are shown in red because they are not added to git. So for adding these files and folders to git, you can just write git add and then dot, okay? So just write git add and dot and then press enter, which is going to add all these files into git. You can run git status once again to see if all these files are added or not. So you can see everything in green. That means all the files are added. Now the next command is you just need to write git commit minus m and then you can give a small commit comment inside these double quotes and you can write first commit and then after that give a space and then give a dot here which means all the files and directories will be committed and once again when you run a git status you will see everything is committed so you just need to push your code into your repository now once again go to the github and then you need to run this command which says git remote add origin and then url to your repository so I'm going to just copy this command and then paste it into the terminal and then press enter, which is going to add this remote origin to your local Git repository. And now in order to push your code into your repository, what you need to do is you need to run this command, which is git push minus u origin master. And it's going to ask your uh, GitHub username and password. So I'm going to give this command and then after some time, it's going to ask your username. Your username is the one which is shown here after GitHub. So you can see github.com 
forward slash p knowledge is my username here okay so you just need to give the username here and then press enter and this will ask you your github password so just provide your github password from here and then press ok and you can see all the files will be pushed to your github repository now so once this command is successful we will once again go to our github project here and we will click on the project which we have created so just click on the project which you have created and you will see all the files will be uploaded to your github project so whatever files which are here you will be able to see all the files and directory in your github repository now once you have transferred all the files on your github repository you can just go to the settings here so just click on settings and then scroll down until it says github pages so by default none is set here so you just need to uh, click on this uh, drop down menu and then select master branch here and then save the changes so once you click on save you will be able to see this message which says your site is ready to be published at this url so you just need to right click on this link and uh, you can uh, open this link in the new tab and once you do this you can see your website is live on this url which is your username dot github dot io forward slash whatever is your repository name so this is how you can host your static website on github in the next video i'm going to show you how you can add the custom url onto the github website for example i want to just use this url which is linux for life dot com in my browser and i want to open this same website which is hosted on the github.io website so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now